Jeez. Give me some room. Oh. <laughs> yeah, we ain't no, got no. none. Oh. You reckon we're still in camera? Remember Todd Hutchins told us that we have to sit close. Is this good enough for you, Todd? <laughs> Jeez. Ready to go. <laughs> I feel like I'm in the back seat here. You guys have got all the elbow room and everything. <laughs> Got yourself in a sandwich. <laughs> oh my goodness. Anyway, it's not that funny. That's more appropriate. <laughs> I haven't mentioned that in Walmart yet. <laughs> no, we'll save that one for later. But, gents, how are we? What's happening? Normal to normal. One yeah, week, less than a week out. Coronavirus causing down. havoc in. It's starting to reach in the arm wrestling world. We've got yeah. all sorts of events just, being canned. Just had an announcement today by our MP. I that, saw this. Yeah, banned the uh, 500, oh. banned to 500 people. So that's yeah, that's Arnold's classic looking like it's on the on the rocks. On well, the that block. spectator's done, but I don't know how many like family members and officials and competitors are because mm. we've got the bodybuilding, strongman, powerlifting, mm. mass arm wrestling, arm wrestling, and pole dancing. What else do they got there? I didn't know you were in a pole dance. They got... Um, that was, it was, go it was, it was right next to us last year. Yeah. You'd go right in the pole. Right. You'd go right in the pole, wouldn't you? All these <laughs> Thanks, mate. Well, you're the one in the middle right now. You seem like you're loving the pole. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyway, but it is... The coronavirus may, may even... like We're here to talk about the WAL 601. Mm. Uh, what mm. do you guys think on the odds of that happening? As far as I've seen so far, they've just banned travel from Europe, which... Marlon Klein Smith, Arena Gladkaya, Neil Pickup, Eddie Hall. But they've just done that, so like they're if they don't extend it, they're yeah. good. If they extend like it, they're screwed days. because yeah, there's four, there's a four but day gap. Britain is only tentative on the three day uh, thirty. So day. Marlon needs to fly to Britain before she. No, no, no. They're only tentative. So if they do that next week, then okay. Neil Neil's out. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So I, I I'll be honest. I'm not feeling optimistic. I'm meant to be on the card, and uh, I'm feeling like. Like any day now, they're just going to say, no, nah, sorry, can't do it. because And it's going to be beyond their control. Steve Kaplan, via the athletes manager, actually contacted me a couple of days ago and said, look, guys, rest assured, we're 100%. We want to get do it. We don't really care. We think it's an overreaction. Yeah. Um, and he put out the post today as well. So but to the fans. there are powers above us that can stomp it. Mm. And yeah, the, exactly. the travel, the, there's no travel bans. It's just advice mm. right now for Australia yeah. traveling. But America is... Yeah. Yeah. Just all of Europe, no, yeah. and obviously China, and and I'm, I'm I mean, I'm, I, it doesn't scare me. I'm happy to travel. So, mm. uh, I want, I want to, I want to pull that. I want to squeeze the lemon. Oh man, <laughs> squeeze the lemon. You while, guys been enjoying my uh, while, while my, you, le- my lemon. Uh, uh, <laughs> that, gin, that ginger <laughs> one cracked me up. That ginger one cracked uh, me up. Just that. <laughs> that was pretty rough eating that ginger. I don't know. I, I hope Brendan tr- tries to put out a response video where he actually eats some ginger because. I want to see the man throw Oh, up. he won't. He'll just send you more videos of him <laughs> pumping lightweight for many, many reps. Yeah. Nah. Yeah, he, tell, he tells me he's got more endurance than uh, I can imagine. But anyway, <laughs> we'll talk about that one later. So let's just get into it. Six, 601. 601. Uh, opening uh, match. Who, opening match. Uh, who's that guy? Hey, what's his name? Angry Bird? Yeah, the... <laughs> Wrong one, right? The wrong one. <laughs> you ruined it. What? What, did I do? <laughs> <laughs> what was the Metapress? <laughs> no. That's oh, the one. Oh, oh, there he is, Adam oh, Wilmot. The angry bird. Uh, the, the Mr. Man, Endurance. <laughs> he got so upset last time we so did a upset. prediction show. Yeah. So upset. I've never seen anyone quite as butt hurt. Oh, he's, oh. he's still going on nine months old. <laughs> so. Butt hurt. He was bowel hurt. Like, <laughs> he's bowel he's hurt to his inner soul. That yeah. was, uh, it's like he's going to hurt you. He's going to hurt you, man. Yeah, I think, yeah, you and him have an issue that I think. Will He's be got the issue. I don't have an issue. Potentially <laughs> settled in the future match, um, oh, and we gosh. honestly. You, oh, it's you, cringy. It's so cringy. <laughs> honestly, and Jordan would kick his ass too. So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's there's Angry Bird who's cringy. Then there's Brendan who's cringy. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. There's so a, this this match, uh, Jamie Sheldon um, coming off a win against Alan Fisher, uh, Adam Wilmot coming off a. I, let, let's let's a be honest. A respected loss. He uh, he very nearly beat Jeff. Um, yeah, that, that did, was legit. I can't did, take that away from him. He did perform far better than everyone who predicted. No, I predicted it dead straight. I said his endurance wouldn't hold up to Jeff's, and that's what happened. Yeah, but he did still came closer. We he still, came, clo- we, we, came closer. We did. We did laugh. <laughs> I called it right. I don't care. <laughs> Um, so uh, it's an interesting match. It's a, a style-wise, Jamie's I think a slightly bigger man in a frame sense. Mm-hmm. Um, 
Yeah, he said today he'd better be on because he's given up McDonald's for this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, he, uh, I've, I've still well, they're the only uh, USA USA match. Oh, yeah, that's Devin, true. Devin's you know just across the border, kind of, but kind of, but yeah. But for me, I've stood next to Jamie Sheldon and been amazed. I thought, how on earth does this guy compete in the one six five pound class? How yeah. much is one hundred and sixty five in kgs again? Seventy four point eight. Jeez. <laughs> oh, I man. don't know that back to front. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this guy, is, this guy has nightmares over that. Yeah. <laughs> what are you, uh, you, you like? You, you, you're 83. Yeah, 83 you gotta, this morning. To get down to 74.8 would be. I've been 74 kilos since change. I was 15. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, your bicep weighs about that. <laughs> <laughs> these days. <laughs> but um, how does this match go? Does um, I, I mean, I, I I see it as a fairly even match up. It should be like Jamie's Jamie, as you saw against Alan Fisher. He's got you know that top role that's coming out now, and mm-hmm. if he's going backwards with Adam to start with, and then he pulls out the hook once Adam's gassed, then it should go basically the same way as Jeff. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, Adam. Well, d- <laughs> <laughs> oh, I keep on the wrong one. Oh damn it! What else we got in here anyway? Oh, oh. oh there we go, punchy. Yeah. <laughs> Which one was that? Who was that? I one? feel like we're going to need that today. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, we got something special saved up for Marlon and Arena. Hopefully, we press the right button. Hopefully, you don't want to push the yeah, right. I button. Yeah, I remember the two. I, I, I got it. All right, all right, I'm going to step back from <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah. If when you it's remember, time. yeah, I got it. Uh, so, Lachlan, how do you see Jamie and uh, Adam? I, I'm going to go. I'm going to make a heartfelt decision. I'm going to go with Jamie. Okay, good. Mm. The battle of good versus evil. Some, here. Yeah, I definitely want Jamie to win. Um, yep. I think. Hmm. I, I feel like Jamie's intelligence on the table is a bit higher, mm-hmm. but that might just because I like him. Yeah, um, well, he's been in, Jamie's been in the sport sixteen ten, years, or ten years longer yeah. than Adam. So. Yeah, yeah. And, yeah. And, and I, I mean I, that I, doesn't always. Yeah, it doesn't always. But doesn't always. Um, yeah. But I think I think Jamie's got good training partners as well, and yeah. he's in a good area. He competes plenty enough, and yeah, no, I definitely want to see him win, and I think he will. Mm. Yep, mm. I feel like Jamie's style is predominantly a, a knuckles up. Uh, top role. He's willing to to go, uh, give his wrist away a bit and pull with. Uh, He's palm the bigger man, so with the pronation mm. based uh, flop rolling, as we I like to call it, the fly, yeah. um, flop roll, flop roll, the Todd roll. Some people call it, but uh, Todd roll sounds nicer than the flop roll. <laughs> I, think, I think the words in this sport are already bad enough. I'm hooking a but, flop roller. <laughs> uh, but but I I, I do uh, think that. Um, my dog's going crazy <laughs> in the background <laughs> over a palm leaf. It's quite, it's quite entertaining, to be honest. <laughs> Sorry, this is. <laughs> We're and, so focused right the, now. The funny thing is, he's doing it with a cone of shame on his head. Even better. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, we can't give you a visual. Yeah. But for me, Jamie Sheldon, um, I think that the match is his to dictate in terms of. Uh, technically, where it goes, being the taller man, he's gonna <coughs> he's going to force something. Uh, I feel like Adam Wilmont is going to. <laughs> you clicked. I feel like Adam. It's all right. He's good right boy, there. Charlie. You've been he's a good right boy. There. You just stay there and watch and listen. Don't knock <laughs> the camera over. Um, I feel like Adam Wilmont's going to do what he does best, which is fire up, and uh, and he's gonna. He, I mean. If he keeps knuckles high over Jamie, then he's in he's in a good place. Yeah. But mm. if Jamie's wrist gets the ascendancy, it's over. Yep. So they're gonna fight uh, up. Uh, to yeah, him. I think Jamie can dictate where it goes. It's just whether or not he makes the right or wrong decision in where it goes. Mm. So he mm. that yeah. makes sense. So moves, uh, I'm gonna go I'm gonna go I'm gonna go I think it's gonna be close. I'm gonna go three two Jamie. Yeah. Three one. Jamie. Is that the right button? I that? won't be mean. I'll be honest. 3 2 Jamie. 3 2 Jamie. Okay. So we all win Jamie. Yeah, yeah. All right. Next match, we've got, uh, I think it's me and Brendan. Hmm. The lemon. Ginger, the lemon. Coronavirus has no chance against this combo. <laughs> <laughs> Get your cups of tea ready. <laughs> yeah, who thought that was it? That Critton? Yeah, Critton oh, Crit- Dadki from India. That man he's, is a he's funny, he's man. killer he's with his graphic funny. design. He's a crack up. I love I like it though. Guy. I feel like this, yeah, this match needs to be sponsored by Lipton Tea or something. <laughs> like I don't know. Like, there's an opportunity Ice there. Tea. There is seriously an opportunity to, to leverage some marketing, but uh, it's going job. by. Mm. But um, uh, I definitely, like, of course, we want to see who wins that match. The, the trash talk has been amazing. Yeah. <laughs> more, more from you. His has been like, oh, is that it? Ooh. And, uh, he's going to beat you in an Irm Russell. An Irm Russell, <laughs> yes. An Irm Russell. <laughs> 
<laughs> yeah, he. Uh, I think I he's, he's a nice guy. I like him, but yeah. Mm. yeah. How do you see it going, Jordan? I'll I'll, I'll just go dead straight three one to you. Uh-huh. Just because. Which round am I losing? The first one. First one. Oh, Probably. <laughs> I, I, I know what you're doing, so... It's not often I that I lose advantage. a round after I've won a round. Yeah. It's not often. Yeah, I but don't know. I think you're going to take a little bit of uh, tactical justice. Uh, tactical... Hang on, what's the word? Um, liberty. Tactical liberty. Tactical liberty. That you, yeah. you will, might even win on the first one, and then you go, oh, I'll try something on the second and one. And I go, oh, yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> Let's and, not do that again. go back. I still <laughs> think it'll be 3-1, but... Bre- Brendan might pull out a flop and stuff like that. And <laughs> maybe get a surprise on you. <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> might be two flop rolls going on. <laughs> uh, I think Brendan, Brendan for me, flaccid arm wrestling. <laughs> Brendan for me is, uh, I kind of feel sorry for him to be honest. Um, He's putting a lot of pressure on himself, isn't he? He is. There's, there's a lot. I mean, no one wants to lose He's their debut. A big game. No one wants to lose their debut, but um, he's been put in a position Debit. where uh, he's gonna. <laughs> so. Yeah, he's, he's going to go so nervous. Like right now, no doubt he's losing sleep. Like going to bed with his heart pumping out of his chest with adrenaline. If he's going to bed like that, I'll be training. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. You know, and honestly, like if you haven't I, got that the, confidence. The one, the one thing that I will give him is I, I do think that he's diverse in in his options. Yeah, uh, no one he, can take away. He's a good arm. He wrestler. can he can attack from all positions effectively. He he loves to get inside, supernate and into a hook and then roll to a can opener. I think. Drop, yeah, to um, kings, drop to a king's. He, flop. He'll flop. Yeah, they're, 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 that's his shape right there. Uh, he he, th- he he thinks he can outhook me. Um, so that might be the first dual real, kings of the night. He's a real side pressure hooker. The first. Uh, he's not a back pressure hooker. But I'll go, I'll kings move him for sure. Yeah, I know. Uh, and he then might. he'll kings back, and it'll be the first kings of the night. No, but if if he kings against my kings, he will look like an amateur. Yeah. In terms of his technical ability to move, he will go. He will go armbar. You won't see me in armbar. You'll see me in dragging, pronating, and if I have to, getting that extra bit of pronation. And then as he goes to armbar, I'll just slowly come back forward and take control and, and kind of just watch him and smile. <laughs> kind of. And Lachlan, you're smiling. <laughs> oh. <laughs> you're remembering a training session or something. Yeah, yeah, and then I figured it out, yeah, so okay. it's fine. <laughs> I don't think he will, though. No, he won't. I don't think he will either. He'll come up and try to flop. And He'll do all sorts of crazy stuff. But, but Brendan, it's certainly going to be entertaining. Yeah, you, you may be headed for another match of the night. I think. Well, it's going to be it's going to be tough with with Devin and Michael Todd on the card. That that True. that can't be anything True. but a war. Yep. Not, there's no there's, there's just no way either of those guys are going to bang it out three and zero real quick. Yeah. yeah. So um, it's not going to be real quick. It could be three and zero one one way or the other. But yeah, but. Yeah. Final thought for me on Brendan is honestly, I feel like like this is a weird sport because oh, you don't know how you don't know how strong you are. You were all progressing. We're not lifting weights as much as we are moving humans, and so. Mm. But I just feel like I might get over there, grip him up. They say go, and I just go, oh, oh, oh. It's it's like this. Oh. It's going down. It, it, There's not it, a whole if, lot going on there. If that happens, <laughs> if that happens, oh man, oh man. <laughs> I'm going to squeeze that lemon hard. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough of that one. On to the your button pressing match. Ah. Here we go. First one. Marlon. Marlon. Very good. <laughs> and she's taking on <laughs> the very mysterious. Arena. Arena Godkaya. <laughs> See, I got this. Uh, <laughs> the, probably... Uh, when it comes to caliber of arm wrestlers within their division, uh, oh. this is this is this is the best. This beats Devin and Michael Todd, I think. Like these ladies within their their little realm mm-hmm. have achieved more than I think those two guys have. Effectively, it's a big mm-hmm. match. It's the best it's match possible big. on the planet at seventy kilos in the women's. I think so. Oh. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, unless Sarah Backman cut. Can't wait. Uh, I don't know, but I—I I, I mean, she's, she's yeah, she's injury. injured. All sorts of, I think she'd yeah, get her yeah, ass. Yeah, yeah, she yeah. would not be the favorite over Gladkaya or Marlon at seventy kilos. Not e- even in a year. No, not yet. She's got to. I mean, she's got to get the runs of the board. Can she? Yeah, maybe. Sure. She's got the potential. We know it from the past. She's definitely strong enough. Like she has, she has the frame. She has yeah. the. Anyway, we're talking about 
a match that is not <laughs> happening at 6.01. Current <laughs> match. Anyway, yeah. current match. So, stay on, stay on so track. So the, the, the most interesting talking about this one is that um, Arena and Marlon both competed at the 2018 WAF World Championships, which Marlon won. That was her first World Championship win on the, on the right arm. Mm-hmm. And Arena finished fourth, but they never met that day. Mm. Um, they did pull... Um, the same year, I think it was at the Europeans, and Godkaya beat Marlon in straps. Is that the one we've seen on Instagram? Yes, recently. Yep. Yes, yeah. too much Marlon back pressure. Was fired just, up. Yeah, she does, that was fun. does the old scream in your face thing. Yeah, yeah it's she, good. It's good. Ooh, I like that. <laughs> it was nice. Come <laughs> <laughs> on, I like Marlon. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> All right, uh, well, I love Gabby. <laughs> it's reminiscent of that, of that episode now with Todd yeah. Hutchins. I mean, my ass is sore. I could stand up and scream about it, but yeah. I won't. <laughs> but um, from the stool, the stool. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, <laughs> people are like, okay, oh, right. yeah. let's just run with that one. <laughs> but um, we'll pass that one with a <laughs> <laughs> bit of morning glory from the stool. <laughs> 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 So anyway, anyway, where does this match go? Like, who takes this thing? Does does the fact that Marlon Kleinsmith have one match in the WAL make a difference, or is this just going to be? I think she also. You got to remember, money, she also money. trains with Fia Rusick, who's also had more training in. Mm-hmm. Is it a factor for the women's? I feel like it's less of a factor, and the mm. reason I feel like that is the women, from what I've seen, when I watched Marlon pull Fia, for instance, super behaved. Yeah, no one's. No one's hunting for extra millimeters, mm, and they go. Mm. They just, they, they. It's like they're both coming from a European, i.e., uh, rigid rules don't background. Yeah, so yeah. they're so ingrained to not move. So they yeah. don't. Yeah. Where you pull an American woman, then the, the American oh, woman's going to be going to yeah. be taking stuff um, as so, much as they can. Yeah. So I feel like Russia, Sweden, they're both going to be well behaved. It's not going to be a big factor that it's a mm. WAL setup. We may even see a few matches that are outside of strap too. Yeah, well, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Mar- well, Marlon needs that. Ar- Arena probably has worked it out pretty quickly. You just need to scratch your nose and you get the straps. So, <laughs> yeah, yeah. She I mean, Marlon knows that too. She's chew. super experienced and very but a- smart. But, but Arena's been very dominant in the straps historically yeah. over Marlon. So, unless um, Marlon gets gets the angry dog out and starts really taking away things in the setup, mm. yeah, yeah. Right. and then we then we get funky. But mm. um, my my head says Arena, my heart says Marlon. Uh, I think Marlon's a great character. I love her in the WAL. She's a killer. Mm. Yeah. But there's something about Russian arm wrestlers, as we saw in the video. They are they're clinical. They are, but like Russia versus Sweden in female arm wrestling, it's kind of like they're the two superpowers. Mm. Two so. superpowers right there. I'm going to have mm. to, like, I think Irina's, like, has been there and done that for so long that Marlon's going to be at the point now where she's just coming I think she's coming into her peak mm-hmm. like her her top form that she's she's been in mm. and I think this is, if if there was any other time that she's going to beat Irina mm. it's probably going to be now mm. yeah and and with that I'd probably give it a 3-1 with Marlon firing up after the first loss so Irina taking the first round well Marlon well. might take the first round out of straps Irina sniffs Blows a nose, something gets straps. Yep. Marlon loses and goes, nah, screw this. Next two are mine. Yeah, 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 yeah. I, I like that. Yeah. yeah, I like that. I see Where? that happening. Plus, I've learned to go with you with your predictions. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I was Wal Stradamus <laughs> last year. You got to remember that. <laughs> Wal Stradamus. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I don't know. Like, like I said, my head says Arena. And uh, I, I mean, I'm going to be cheering for Marlon. Um, but uh, I think that. I think that Arena is not going to be intimidated by the WAL and coming to the USA. I think that she's going to... Uh, she, she's the current WAF world champion. Mm. Um, she Obviously, Marlon wasn't there because of the whole IFA split. Yep. Um, but but she but um, Arena won WAF convincingly. Um, I think she's going to come over and I think that she's going to remind everyone that she's never lost to Marlon. And... Uh, and or we see an upset. I mean, everyone loves an upset, but I, I, I think Marlon's going to yeah. dig in. I'm but going for the upset. Yeah, and I'm going yeah. with three one. I'm going to I'm going to go I'm going to go three Marlon. one to Arena, um, with the one with the with a round going out of straps, and then Arena realizing, oh no, 
I'm taking all of these to straps. I reckon this could actually be the match of the night. No, I'm going to squeeze the lemon hard. <laughs> going to make that ginger if, squeeze if it's, lemonade. If it's too dominant win over the lemon. No, but then, everyone loves when you, you reduce someone so much that they just look like a shattered soul and they want to hide. If I can do that, that's 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 a good match. <laughs> Sorry, it's Brendan. Good for you. <laughs> oh, yeah, oh, fun. He wants he wants to make you cry, Brendan. <laughs> Pretty much. He wants some, he wants some tears. Uh, some anyway, tears. ladies, and gentlemen, we're going to take a break because if I don't, my camera's going to stop recording, and we don't want that. So uh, we'll be back to talk about the the two, I guess, biggest matches in some sense. Mm. Yep. Very shortly. All righty. Mm. All righty, we're back. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> Welcome back, Jeff. How was your break? Uh, yeah, we did the Thor challenge. That that wasn't. It was pretty easy. Wasn't that's it? pretty easy. Actually, what did we get up to? We got up to. We beat Justin Bishop. That's all that matters. <laughs> just, just, Justin did it with fifteen pounds in the end. We did it with uh, seven 16. and a half kilos, which was sixteen point three pounds. And yeah, yeah, right. So yeah, that's not really a big deal. So Bishop Bowen, uh, it's pretty much a formality. Don't even bother because I already know I can do more than him on the Thor Challenge. So. <laughs> it's all that counts. <laughs> it's all that counts. It's all that counts. It's anyway, money now. Six oh one. Let's get back to it. Um, the challenge say, match. The challenge match. This is probably the biggest match of the night in terms of how many eyes are going to tune in. Uh, because it's Eddie Hall, the world's strongest man from two thousand eighteen. Mm. I think. Uh, but the question is, can he arm himself? And the junior. Oh, oh yeah, and uh, yeah, now my favourite man, RVJ. Yeah, he's simmered down a little bit recently, hasn't he? Uh, I know. I like him. I t- like him. He, he, yes, there's a story I'll tell you off air. <laughs> oh, okay. <laughs> it's right. Not for YouTube. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, he's a good bloke. Yeah, yeah we yeah. all love him. Yeah, uh, he's a people's champ. He's the people's champ. Yep. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, anyway, so Eddie Hall. <laughs> Who's not the same man who did the 500 kilo deadlift. He's the same man, but he's not the same man now as he was when he mm-hmm. did that. Yep. He's probably, what, 50 kilos lighter? Um, not to, take. Surely not 50 kilos lighter. Because he was, what, 190? 190 was kilos. Was it 190? Okay. I think he's now like 165 or something. Okay, yeah. yeah. So he's still a giant 30. of a man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, st- I saw him uh, do a video with Steffi Cohen, the world mm-hmm. record female. She's got like 25 world records. Um in powerlifting, she's a beast. And he did like uh, 30 reps with 60 kilos, 60 kilo dumbbell on shoulder press. Mm. So that's 135 pound dumbbells for 30 reps. <laughs> like he's still a monster. So so um, is there, I mean, straight away for me, I think of this match as, as it's it's all Rob. No one, I, don't, I can't see how over the, the course of a super match, Eddie could possibly win the the whole super yeah, match. he. I mean, Eddie got beaten by, um, I think his name's Vitali Lalas or something like that. Another strong man. They yeah. had a they had a match at Giants Live. Yeah. Um, yeah, and he lost to him. Yeah. So. Well, I think Lalas is a f- uh, like a like, he's a legit arm wrestler. He, he had has form, spent time yeah. in time in the sport. He had form. Um, where I, I just for me the problem is it's it's clearly not a, a question of does Eddie have enough strength. I mean, even, no, if, even if you were to measure Eddie's wrist flexion, uh, his wrist rise, um, even probably his pronation, it's probably good enough. It's probably good it enough. Probably but the is, thing is, he is just like, has no idea how to use it. That's the uh, biggest yeah, issue. Yeah, arm wrestling's a weird strength. Like, you can't just walk into arm wrestle and dominate. Mm. Um, it, it's what uh, Engen Terzi calls synergy. Well, synergy, yeah. Jamie, I think it was Jamie Sheldon I saw a comment on today that you're more likely able to beat up someone wearing a tap-out shirt yeah. than someone wearing an arm wrestling shirt and beating them at arm wrestling. Like, Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's true. Um, it's a really well, odd strength. Well, so. we, we saw footage of Eddie training with uh, Neil Pickup and um, mm. who was it? he was pulling with Chris Ham, who is a 75-kilo Brit, mm-hmm. pro-level pro mm-hmm. Brit at 75 kilos. And... You could just see the lack of Eddie's instincts because Chris was like holding Eddie, yeah, very simply. I think Eddie's treating everyone like a barbell. Yes, mm. yeah. Um, the question is, and how much training is Eddie doing, arm wrestling wise? Very little. Exactly. He's a busy man. Exactly. Yeah. He's got commitments everywhere. Mm-hmm. Um, I think that that he uh, look, look, look. If Rob dabbles and goes goes deep and allows Eddie to get inside. 
his shoulder and Rob sits out of his shoulder. I mean, he did say he did. He said he was going to kick the front door and not try and get sneaky and use uh, use tactics like he would ordinarily. If he grips low on Eddie, Eddie will, will, will win a round. Eddie will have mm. so much peck and shoulder. Yeah, like he doesn't if, know if, how to if, use it. But he doesn't doing, have rotation. He's doing the Juji Mufu flat might, hand trying to pull everyone. Yeah. It's not he might work. do his arm, to be honest. Mm. I think Eddie can <laughs> probably use break arm technique and not break it. No. He can probably... look at You were just talking about the shoulder presses that he's doing. Yeah. If he just got, goes... If, like, but if your Rob, shoulder presses, you're like, they're not talked. It's like, you know, yeah. view mechanics, everything's yeah. stacked and mechanics. nice. But it, you know, yeah. I, I, I only say this because I remember gripping Jason Semler, Australia's bench press. One of his... Well, I'm not sure if he's the record holder, but he's right there. He's, mm. he's benching 300 kilos or something. No, 285. I remember gripping him years ago. Mm. And he had horrible technique, but mm. you could just feel his pec and, and wrist and just the ability to 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 push was stupid. Eddie also isn't bench pressing 285. I think he got up to 250 was his best, and mm. he, he tore his shit up. So I don't know. Mm. Um, I, I, I actually, I think RVJ is going to kick the front door down and go to Eddie's, Eddie's power. Mm. And, yeah. and beat I, I don't think RVJ is brave enough to do it round one. I think RBJ, oh, I think he is. I think I think I think he's in it to he's, nah, make he's, a point. He's going to stay high. He'll, nah, he's just going to make a point. No, nah. because remember, nah, and I quote, it. "I'm a fucking professional." <laughs> <laughs> well, no said, well said. Well said. Well no, said. No. <laughs> Rob's going to Rob's going to pretend to, and he's going to grip high. He'll cup pronate high, take control of the hand and wrist, and then and then there's no. He will not grip Eddie. Like you grip me. You keep saying that right <laughs> now. If he, if he grips Eddie like listening. you grip me, I low down half on the wrist and and just doesn't threaten Eddie's hand and just goes let's let's bang in, in here. Mm. Then I I got Eddie winning that round because RVJ will, will bleed himself not not being able to actually pin Eddie. And even though Eddie doesn't know, <laughs> even though Eddie doesn't know how on earth to finish, he's gonna have enough just ability to stay center. With Rob gripping him there, that he could win a round, but Rob still wins because Rob mm. goes, "Oh damn, okay, round two, let's be an." How about slot. this? We'll compromise. Rob will Rob will try and kick the front door in, and he'll hold it for a while, and then he'll go, "Oh, oh, hang on, no, no, Re- 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 <laughs> let's let's back, <laughs> let's cut, cut over the top again." <laughs> yeah. yeah, yeah, that's true. Because yeah, yeah, okay, but it is great for the sport. It, 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 like regardless of how the match goes, and uh, mm. it is great for the sport. Uh, yeah. We're going to have more people looking at this match than any other WL match in history, probably. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. And that's what people need to remember. I had someone message me the other day on Instagram complaining about it. And I said, look, the more eyes on the sport, the mm. more money's going to come. And the more money there is, there's more opportunities for the arm wrestlers that have been in it for mm. a long time who apparently deserve it. Mm. You know, we, to need to, we need to do this stuff first. Like, you know, we're going to arm wrestle no matter what. If it's yeah. for free or whatever, we're always going to arm wrestle. Yeah. In terms of a business, we are guaranteed. But the business is not. So we need to do this sort of stuff. Yeah. Um, uh, it's great for the spot. I think it's the way, be fun. The way I see it as well is that Eddie is someone who obviously has an immense amount of respect from all strength sport fans. Um, yeah. And he will... I don't think Eddie necessarily is coming and saying that he's actually going to win. Like I know he's playing the game, he's beating yeah. the drum, but I think Eddie's full of respect for arm wrestlers. Yeah. And, um, and I think that... That he's, no his, fan, he, enough. his fans will also respect arm wrestlers after they see what happened. Yeah, and and, yeah. and also we need to remember, like he's he's putting himself in a position where he's highly likely going to lose, and he's quite happy to do that. Yeah. I don't know how much he's getting paid, but either way, you know. Uh, <laughs> Keep going. Get yeah, your, yeah. get your point done, and then we'll get rid of the dog. <laughs> yeah, the yeah, kid. yeah. I just <laughs> yeah. All respect for Eddie. Oop, you know, I think we've got shame we've got. <laughs> We've got to thank him for it. I think it's going to be awesome. So. Yeah, no, but it will be a fantastic match, and uh, yeah, it'll yeah. be very entertaining. I hope Eddie doesn't hurt himself because <laughs> he, yeah, he, he, he might. Me he might. He might. All right, main event <laughs> coming up after this very short intermission. <laughs> All righty, so we are back, and uh, the main event of the night. Um, it's uh, it's going to be a cracker. Devin Larratt, Michael Todd, Michael Todd defending the hammer. Yeah. Yep. You I know what is knees. hilarious though? The amount of shit that Devin put on Igor for putting, was it, um, oh, I've forgotten his name already. The big Georgian, the Georgian Hulk. Levan. Levan against. Dave. Against Dave, first round. First round of the. Yeah, he was like, what the hell, man? <laughs> and then, well, first yeah. round, two yeah. champs. Yeah. <laughs> but it's a little different, though. It is a little different. Yeah. It's a, There's it's a, a progressive. It's a rolling. Top it's a, yeah, there is, there is. Yeah. 
There is. I get still. it, but still. <laughs> yeah. You know. That's really? True. First event? Yeah. That's true. But um, last time these guys faced, it was 3-2 Michael Todd. Um, we saw Devin having to go to like a Superman-style flop press to get w- victories. We yep. saw Michael Todd in his traditional positions, Kings moving out, lasting, and then coming through with his own press to, to, to win. Yep. Um, does the shape change this time now that Devin Larratt has a Kings move himself? Well, the shape changed last time that Michael Todd was arm wrestling. He was he was above the table the whole time. Yep. And, yeah. and I, I actually think that that's an indication of maybe Michael's arm is just so reduced in range of motion now that he, he doesn't... Like he, he, he's, he's probably just top role, yeah. He Kings. doesn't need to go below the, the the table anymore. Like Crazy George, same story. Mm. Um, I'm pretty sure if Michael laid his humerus on the table, his range would be about this. Yeah, probably. at best. Um, mm. where so he can stay upright. Yeah, uh, so he can stay upright. Um, it's only when tensions on it that it goes that it gets a little wider. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, I think Devin Larratt is the biggest. <laughs> I hope you enjoy that YouTube or listen to the background. <laughs> uh, as you can see, it's a wild house here. Um, but hey, we're going to roll with it. Um. <laughs> oh, Bradley, I can see in the window. He's got his shirt off. He's going full full wild, man. Yeah, the vanilla, <laughs> vanilla gorilla uh, yeah. unleashed. Yeah. yeah, well done. <laughs> but Devin Larratt is at his biggest. Uh, I listened to him talk with Neil Pickup on a, on a podcast they did, and he described himself as the moving... Bigger numbers than he's ever moved before. Yeah, he's looking big too. Yeah, so he said potentially even better than the shape that was uh, the Trafford Centre 2008 where he crushed John Brzenk. Mm. Um, Devin feels like he's a different arm wrestler than the shape is entirely different. He's now a dragging, pronating arm wrestler in a defensive sense where he used to be an inside defender and an outside attacker. He's now an outside defender and an inside attacker. Mm. So Devin's evolved. Yeah, um, yeah. I think now he's bigger. He's got a little bit more uh, padding on in his elbows, mm-hmm. where he can come in with a lot more confidence. Mm. Yeah, now a po- little bit more. Polls had these matches overwhelmingly in the favour of Devon Larratt. About eighty percent of people have uh, put their vote behind Devon. Mm. Um, I I agree with the majority that Devon wins, but I do think that it's 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 like it's so fifty fifty. They they. Devin can't win fast at all. No, no. no. It's it's, it's going to be the pro. It's probably going to match Jerry and um, Mark Todd. You think the same sort of mm, length? Match? I, I don't think it's going to go as long, yeah, just no. because like the angles that Devin's hitting isn't just you know just shoulder forward, and mm. I don't think he can hang there for. That oh long. no, it won't be there. It'll be. <laughs> yeah, yeah I, De- I don't think Devin's he can hang go. that long either. Devin's there, not can, against not against Michael. Well, yeah, can 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 Devin? Hold up Michael Todd's press with a ki- with with Devon's king's move, or even like he. I mean, he beat Jerry with a really deep hook. So mm. if he can move into that that really tight angled hook that he did against Jerry and do it against Michael yeah. to stop the press, then Devon's just got to win in the wrist rise more than anything. If he can win the wrist rise at the start to get over the top of Michael's top pronator. Mm. The top mm. finger. Yeah, these guys are then fighting for height. It, it's fighting for height and fighting for and the last first time Michael, point of progression. Last time Michael won the height. Yeah, f- straight from the well, get-go. What, what's also interesting, like Devin's bigger and, and Michael's smaller this time. He's the lightest he's mm. ever been and the strongest he's ever been, apparently. Yep. Um, <laughs> stronger, where Devin's stronger just, every time. Yeah, massive. Mm, yeah. You know, and, and normally I would say like size doesn't matter in an arm wrestle. We saw some monsters as Lottie and mm. they, were, they were nothing. Yeah. Um, but when you've got someone like Devin who adds mass, he's doing it on the arm wrestling table. He's not doing it by doing his, his bench presses or his squats or anything like that. Yeah. He's yeah. built that mass with food and arm wrestling. Yeah. Yep. So, yeah. <laughs> uh, I've, got, I've got Devin. I've got you got Devin? Devin? Yeah. You got? Yeah. I got Devin just. Yeah. I, I think, I, it, I think yeah. it'll be 3-1. I think, I think, I think it'll be, one. I'm going to go 3-2. Um, but yeah, Devin just, and I don't, I don't even know how th- it's just going to be, it's going to get to a point of desperation again from both, both men. It's and, who's um, willing to put more on the and table. I, I think and, and Michael is, man, like if you're going to say who's willing to put more on the table, traditionally that's Michael. Yeah. Traditionally. Yeah. yeah. Not, I, I, and that's feel, not to take yeah. anything away from oh, Devin gosh, either. No. I feel it's Michael's. Devin's, Devin's ability to, to change the little things at the last moment. It'll make yeah. a difference. He, yeah, I think so. When he's when he's desperate, 
he can add just like like I've heard Devin say, three ounces of pressure here is sometimes all it takes to to get the mm. victory. And so he. I mean, he, you've seen it here on your own scale. Mm. It's like you were you were like five hundred grams away from moving a weight. Yeah, and you just couldn't do it. And it stood <laughs> a move. Yeah, so it was a move. It's glued and it's like yeah. five hundred grams. It's like less than a steak that I eat on a Friday night. <laughs> <laughs> it's Friday night. Uh, I've run one. Like one of the drugs. <laughs> Can't, can't give the crickets to the state. <laughs> uh, but anyway, 6.01, April 21st, that's when it's meant to happen. Hopefully the coronavirus stays away and um, we're permitted to travel. <laughs> yeah, the mysterious coronavirus. Oh, no. Tom How Hank, far does it spread? Tom Hanks is now stuck in Australia. We've, we've adopted, with Wilson. We've adopted. I saw a meme today that was like, never travel with Tom Hanks. <laughs> 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 all these pictures of travelling gone wrong with him. <laughs> Wilson was one of them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's very true but anyway yeah. ladies and gents thank you for tuning in uh, WAL 601 um, yeah it's not too far away mm-hmm. not far at all mm-hmm. too far away wait Make wait sure wait so, so who we got let's do a let's do an end of show summer oh, oh gee okay quick, quick, quick fire quick fire consensus we went uh, Jamie yeah yep. Jamie consensus I went 3-1 we, we went uh, yeah. me over yep. Brandon yep. yep we were split two to Marlon one to Arena yep, yep. Uh, RBJ, RBJ, RBJ yeah. with yeah, yeah, yeah. variations yeah. Yeah. and Devin, Devin, Devin in an elbow. Yeah. yeah. Beautiful. All righty, guys. Let's wrap up. See you next time. <laughs> yes, that's a bit!